Hey guys, welcome back. Want to share something interesting with you guys? May or may not have anything to do with the dinar, but either way, it's still unique. So you guys know I've tried to show you guys that really this isn't pegged to our calendar. It's pegged to the Hebrew calendar, okay? Next Sunday, which is March 14th, is actually the first month of Nissan. It's Nissan 1, okay? That's the seventh month of the Hebrew calendar, okay? But on the civil Hebrew calendar, it's actually the beginning of their new year, even though it's the seventh month, okay? So again, it's the seventh month of the Hebrew calendar, but but March 14th is actually Nissan 1. It's the start of their Hebrew new year on the civil calendar, okay? Now, now if you go from add seven days, to Sunday, March 21st, that's March 8th. I'm sorry, Nissan 8. So it's the eighth day of the month of Nissan on March 21st, okay? So so again, Nissan 8, which is March 21st, guys, 8 in the Bible means new beginning. Just a unique coincidence I wanted to share with you, okay? So again, March 21st, which is the eighth day of their new year, Nissan 8 on the Hebrew civil calendar, guys. Eight in the Bible means new beginning. Kind of kind of unique and coincidental. Just wanted to share it with you. More. Do you think that Iraq should repay the American taxpayer for... Right there, should Iraq pay back the American taxpayer? Hmm, that would probably be the Iraq dinar revaluation. Here it is one more time. Iraq should repay the American taxpayer for these bases, sure. well, for you what know, we've done there. You heard that from me, yeah, okay? I, I know, should, it took, I but said, will we? I said we built one of the world's most expensive uh, airport facilities anywhere in the world. I mean, I wish we had it in New York. I wish we had it in Washington. We built runways that are 15,000 feet long. At LaGuardia, they're 7,000 feet long. In fact, I think they're 20,000 feet long over there, and deep, thick concrete and steel. Nobody ever built runways like this. Okay, I, you know, it was way overbuilt, but that's okay. But we have billions of dollars into that. I said, if we leave, you got to pay us. If we leave, you have to pay us for embassies. You have to pay us for the money we put in. How are you going to collect? Well, we have a lot of their money right now. We have a lot of their money. We have $35 billion of their money right now. So we have $35 billion, meaning U.S. dollars, of their dinar. Again, Donald Trump just said we have 35 billion U.S. dollars worth of their dinar. I'll let you hear it one one more time. 35 billion dollars of their money right now sitting in an account. Okay, a while ago in a video, I shared something interesting with you guys. I told you guys about 10 years ago, I was part of a private dinar group and a member from our group had submitted a form under the Freedom of Information Act to the United States government. As long as it's not classified information, they will answer. So this was submitted to the US Treasury again under the Freedom of Information Act. We had asked them, how much Iraq does the dinar does the US Federal Reserve Treasury hold within its reserves? They had responded back to our request and they answered, they said in excess of 20 trillion Iraq dinar. That was it. That was the generic answer they gave again when we asked them in excess of 20 trillion Iraq dinar. Now, in the last video, you saw where Trump had answered and said, we the U.S. have 35 billion dollars, again, 35 billion U.S. dollars worth of Iraq dinar. Now, let's do some math here. One billion has nine zeros in it so as you see right here this is 35 billion us dollars equal now just so you know one trillion has 12 zeros in it okay so one two three six nine twelve so what they're telling you right there is trump stated we are holding 41 trillion Iraq dinar in the U.S. within our Federal Reserves. So there you guys go. Look at that again. 
based on what Trump said, Trump said we have 35 billion US dollars worth of Iraq dinar. So when you convert that and calculate that mathematically, we are holding 41 trillion Iraq dinar within our Federal Reserves. All right, so many people you know, bring a lot of conspiracy theory into this. There's a lot of some of those, and there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, okay? But I just want to, I want to just touch on something here factually. So some people have, there's there's quite a few opinions out there that the dollar is going to collapse, okay? Or the value of the U.S. dollar is going to plunge either way. Let's look at that for a second. So you just saw a video where Trump told you back from January 10th of last year that Trump told you we, the U.S., have received and have been paid approximately 41 trillion dinar since 2004 for providing military protection to the country of Iraq. What Trump told you by telling you we have 41 trillion dinar, he basically just told you that we, with the 41 trillion, that's that makes the U.S. Basel III compliance, and dinar is being used to asset back the dollar. Okay, so. Theoretically, what it means, guys, is as we start getting closer to the closer to the value of the rate change, it's actually going to strengthen the dollar, guys. And ever since I've opened my YouTube channel for the past two years, I've always told you this would be one of the signs you see happening, that when we get closer to the timing of the rate change, the value of the U.S. dollar is going to strengthen, nothing more. Okay, so let's look at what's happening right now, guys. Here's gold. This is a, all the, all the market indexes I'm going to show you are a one week view. Okay. So right here's a one week view of gold. As you see, it's gone down. Okay. Gold has gone down from, from, um, 1700 or from 17, you know, uh, above, it was above 1740 right now. Gold's at 1703. Okay. So over the last week, Gold has gone down, you know, close to almost a hundred dollars in value. Okay, so so seventy five bucks right in there. So gold gold has gone down in value over the past week. Let's look at silver. Okay, again a one week view on silver. It's it's gone down a fair amount too. Okay, so over the last week silver's dropped and gone down. Okay, well both gold and silver do the opposite of what the dollar does. Let's look at what the dollar's done over the last week. Wow. The dollar's gone up quite a bit in um in one week. So there you guys go. That's the truth in this, guys. I've always told you that because of the amount of dinar that the US has and holds that we've been paid since 2004 that we have in our reserves it's th th that dinar in our reserves is being used to asset back the dollar for Basel III compliance. Okay, Trump just told you we have about 41 trillion Iraq dinar. Okay, and as you see, we are closing in on the timing of the rate change. Gold and silver have gone down, and the dollar has gone up, guys. Facts speak for themselves. All I do is bring you the facts. You know that. So anyway, guys, there you go. So to everyone who thinks that the dollar's going to um, go down in value, you might want to reanalyze and rethink your thoughts because factual data disagrees with you. There you guys go. Take care and have a great day. God bless.